Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last episode, well, we don't talk about last episode, we got our seventh gym badge and let's leave it at that. Anyways, this episode is already looking much better with me in the driver's seat as this Snorlax is our encounter for Route 126. How are we today, boys? I'm good, Barack, just chilling, just killing. How are you, Joe? Trust me, we knew you were killing since the last episode. Your tyranny made the Holocaust look like a freaking joke. Aside from that, I'm great guys. Joe, with the cold opening comparison, you love to see it. I'm gonna weaken this guy with nature power and see if I can catch him real quick. Huh? You're doing what now? Wait, won't that turn into surf? Like a same type attack bonus surf? And won't said surf just kill him instead? So much for a better start. This episode is already worse than my last unfortunate play session. Literally impossible Donald. Your killing spree is being nominated for an Oscar because that whole sequence of events had to have been scripted. It will go down in the anal glands of time as the biggest throw that a content creator has ever performed. I'm more of a sock guy, blue, cool, calm, and collected. You will never see me throw in a fight, ever. I'm more of a come sock guy too, Donald. Blue balls, cool toys, and calm maneuvers. Um, Joey Mercrowy, look at the screen. Isn't there something you want to say? What is it now, Monkey Dory? Oh, Wiener Schnitzel! It's him! We finally got him! It's a sand shrew! Let's a freaking go! I guess everything is coming full circle now, like whipping up some poffins in the kitch. Viewers, this play session will be a shorter one than usual, as it will consist of just evolving and catching new monsters to refill our resources. This is our power creep episode, as we've trained up some of our boxed Pokémon, mainly because we had no choice, really. What? Why are you both looking at me? What did I do? At least when the pigs overpopulate on the farm, I can just send them to you for slaughtering Donald. Or if I need manure, I know who to call. You were slinging shit like a cacnea. My man let me down more than an iron jugulus. More disappointing than the difficulty of X and Y. At least I didn't black out. Well, I guess if me or Joe lose our whole team, we white out. But for you, it's a blackout, right, Barack? You would orange out, you Q-fant shit stain. Easy, fellas, easy. This episode should be filled with positivity and happiness and all that homosexual stuff. We caught this anime-defining plot armor rodent. I'm just going to call him Freakachu for the LOLs. If memory serves me correct, we already have a Dawnstone to instantly evolve this guy. That alone is promising. Always so close, Sleepy Joe. And yet always so far, my good friend. Let's be honest, how many more shitty water types can we get before this playthrough ends? A lot, probably. Surely our wet streak is over by now, though, right? Oh, you just had to go and open that literal thick fat mouth of yours, didn't you, x -plowed? Shut up, you nimble nut sucker. Don't make me come over to your house and make you feel the struggle of a bug. Quiet down, shuckle fucks. I have high hopes for this guy. Even though both of your roasts are in the PU tier, I'm glad to see your funny little quarrels are back. I miss you two having the bants between each other. Reminds me of when we started this adventure. I loved our little arguments and skull bashes too. But then Donnie became a salty little bitch and literally dipped for a whole episode. What a Vigoroth Viagra gulper. I only sip Viagra now, but that's not the point. Even though last video I let seven bodies get whisked away to the Shadow Realm, you two weren't anywhere near as mean to me as you were back in episode 16. Y'all were on Giratina Demon Time for no apparent reason. I'm on ball throwing and mowing time right now, hot damn. Anything that's in my sights is mine. I'm gonna call this dude Sir Shit. You aren't exempt from catching these strays either like I'm flinging a smoke ball Barack. I'll give it to you, Joe. You got more bars than a Hershey's factory in Isira City. Oh, please. I got more heat coming out of this head than a Senny Scorch. Stop bugging. That fire double entendre is going to go over more people's heads than a char cadet. Those flames have my mind blown, let me tell you. Fire bars, Barack. Now put your pants to your ass to good use and show us a fire battle. And so that's why they call it Collywobbles. Anyways, let me eviscerate this blue rat for taunting us that we lost DZ last episode. I activate called by the grave. I told you cholera would come in handy someday. At least we got a cute word out of it. Beat that, COVID. There you go, spreading fake news again. We all know COVID didn't exist. Stop bringing that stupid ass topic up for the viewers. 2020 was bottom five years of all time. I think you could even agree on that, Joe. 1346 was a pretty bad year too. Enough about shitty pandemics. What boogie woogie did we get from plug? 
Let's freaking go. We got our boy Dick Pinch in the building. This guy did what to you now? Okay, Barack, let's stay focused here. Please highlight on the doll where exactly the creature pinched you. You're in a safe space now. He cannot hurt you here amongst friends. If you boys don't know who Dick Pinch is, we are going to have some serious issues. This guy has great HP and attack. So funny enough, he's probably the best evolution we could have gotten out of a bug-type Pokemon. This power-up arc is going well so far. Speaking of power-ups, I've decided I don't want a weeb anime power-up like you guys. Mainly because I already attract so much purloin as it is right now. And if I got any sexier, I'd be on the run from these hoes like Jeffrey Dahmer. But Joe, think of the marketable merch we could use if you had a dope ass transformation. What will it be, bestie buddy, old pal? You gonna go gear fifth zoo or yell Bon Kai or go Baryon mode? Don't listen to him, Joe. The downsides are not worth the extra skills gained. I believe in you. Just take your gameplay vitamins as usual and you should honestly be okay for the rest of the run, Captain. Look, Donald, it's your ex-girlfriend. Very funny, Joe. Wake up sometime today, yes? Bro, I ain't kidding. Remember those Siamese twins I wingmanned you with a couple of years ago? Oh, shit. No way. Brittany, Melissa, is that you? Did you ever open that cheese shop like you both always wanted? What the screlp am I listening to? Both of you can go skydiving off of Altru Tower because whatever the hell you just spoke is weird. Since this thing is level 16, I'll fire off my comment question of the day. Viewers, don't forget to answer down in the comment section below. My question for today is what region would you like the next Pokemon games to be based off of? Japan, easy choice. Go back to Japan. You're a Japanese development team. Stick to what you know and love. It's no secret that I despise the Generation 5 games and that's because the region being the US is a gargantuan insult. The US is more than just industrial cities and roadworks and big bridges and corrupt nationalism. We have a variety of landscapes and beauties and tons of money and the happiest people on the planet. But you look at N or Getsis or the darkened art style and it just makes us look fucking depressing. The first four gens are full of life and have a wide array of towns and cities, whereas black and white focus too much on the realism. I want to play these games to escape reality, not be reminded of it. Whoa, that was deep, Donald. I actually feel a bit of empathy for you now. I only empathize with your ruptured snoo snoo. What a terrible answer and opinion. I would love for Game Freak to spice it up a bit. And I'm not great with the geographical state of the world since Pangea broke up. But I think Mexico would be a cool pick. Imagine a regional variant of Pikachu in a sombrero. Sign me the heck up. Nah, but real talk though, the culture and the good vibes of the Mexico could be done beautifully in high quality Pokemon generation. You already know the music and the food would be banging in the game too. What about a burrito version of Santa Conda? I am literally cooking right now. If we still had Godzilla, he would have had a stroke listening to that and would have freaking died. This might be considered a hot take, but the newer Pokemon games going across Europe was a great choice in terms of changing up the art style and theming of the game. Kalos being based off France in particular was amazing, and I love how you could customize your fashion style, which obviously that country is known for. I don't actually have a particular answer to this comment question, but all I hope for is that Game Freak ties in the culture of the real life country with the Pokemon version. Like they could do another part of the US, but they should really add a gun Pokemon or a star spangled color theme Pokemon. Or they could do Germany with a car or beer looking Pokemon. No, I don't want a game based in Germany. If that means my lover Reggie Wedgie Steel would have to be re-enlisted into the Third Reich. Don't ruin our happy marriage, Barack. Well, I take it the divorce with Winona was a success then, Joe, since now apparently you are infatuated with a chunk of metal. Having trouble there, Barack? This is so stupid. Why is catching this wheezing giving me so much hassle? I'm about to wrestle with Jimmy if it breaks out of this netball. What was this talk about a cheese shop earlier, Donald? Well, there's actually not much of a story behind it, Barack. Basically, Brittany and Melissa wanted to open a family-run cheese store back when I was dating them. Unfortunately, they moved to Australia back in the summer of 69. And to this day, I wonder, did they ever fulfill their dream? If I had a Jirachi, I would have spent my wish on them in a heartbeat. Weirdly sweet, Donnie. I'll call them cheesing just for you. I heard a rumor that only Melissa moved to the land down under because she was too afraid to break up with you, Donald. This is just what Brittany told me a while ago, but I'm sure her sister is doing well. That doesn't make any sense, Joe. 
If they are Siamese twins, how could one move out of the country while the other one stays? Did you not see Melissa hanging out of her like a giraffe rigged tail? The power of modern day technology, Barack. Keep up, you old timer. Wow, you just got called old by Joe. That is like a zigzagoon calling you a ziga. Anyway, whoop de doo. We have another water type evolution happening here. Yeah, and not the greatest one at that. I guess one upside is the fact that it's a final evolution. I guess I'm out of the toilet gang and in with the gong gang. The Q Cucks clang won't be happy about this. Turns out that's where the infestation had begun. And that, folks, is why I don't let whirlipedes run trains on me anymore. Speaking of eight surprise penises, look, Donnie, it's your fantasy brought to life. I'll take you all on, you foul beasts. Aha, aren't you both so original? I'm not sure if this is a good capture, as Cray Dilly in a randomizer isn't a particularly reliable monster. Normally, with its guaranteed tough defenses, it can act as a solid wall. But without that certainty, this thing could be a liability right off the bat. Did you both know this guy has four type weaknesses? You'd think it has a lot less, but grass doesn't resist shit, apparently. I couldn't give a tie rogue's ass if this guy's booty cheeks or not. He ain't a water type, so he's instantly a win in my books. What do we say about checking out Tyro gases, Joe? Stick to iggly buff booty. Oh, fuck. Fuck that little pink shit stain and that wiener scoffing ass cracker. I'll let the dog sick him like a crown zation. Firm, firm. Get him, boys. Control yourself, Joe. I'm trying to focus. Let's hope dog doesn't die right now. I hate that I am the only reliable trainer among us. The people have lost trust in you both, I'll have you know. They've said they can't believe Fraud Bomber is back on the team. Don L is the biggest bum of all time. And now they only have faith in some pan champ pumper called Joe Biden. I don't know who this guy is, but apparently he will carry our team to victory. They must have meant the Slack King, not your forgetful ass, Mr. President. What are you going to name this hentai lover Obama? Well, calling him Dick Chain is too obvious. And there isn't enough letters for that thing Donald's mama keeps under her bed. So I'm just going to call him Phallus. Sounds sophisticated, doesn't it? Shut up, Simipore. There's something I need to tell Joe before I forget. Next episode, I will actually be the one playing instead of you. I know the turn order usually has you next on the throat chopping block, but I need to so badly redeem myself after last episode. I will take on the underwater aqua hideout myself to prove how powerful I've become. I don't want to become a sham to the audience, so I will step up and fight Archie at his peak next episode. Plus, that'll leave the eighth gym for you, Sleepy Joe. How does that sound? Leaving the stronger trainers to me? Ha! Huh. I accept your offer, Donnie. I'll be impressed if you kill less than five Pokemon next episode at this rate. Fine by me, Toxel Toucher. Well, you look like Claude Sire's fecal matter, you poisonous prick. Go Volbeat your dick off into that cum sock you were chattering about earlier, why don't you? I will, once I make like a grubbin and X scissor your sister first. Fucking try me, boy! Joe Mama said she would shed the skin off my dragon hair, so let me ring her right now to see if I can use pound on her tonight. You won't do a goddamn I'll thing, do you Snorlax piece of shit. You want Joe to start Mama isn't into this? little mill tank cows like you, so why do you even bother? You I'm gonna hone my claws against your sister's sweet kissed ass chin, cheeks when I pull up. the hell up! Let me descend my divine Ray Quaza ass down on you mere mortals. To my right, a Sil Valley. To my left, a Flareon. Put your pokey dollars where your mouths are and play like competent players for once in your shitty watch og little lives. He started it, Dad. Nuh-uh, I did not. I don't give a beldam who started it. I am finishing it. Oh, look, we got Pokemon number 218. Are you kidding me? That's Caterpie, Donald, not Chopma. Chop my dick off. Oh, Wilmer Gooch. How does this keep happening to me? <laughs> okay, that was a good one, boys. Fitting because this little guy is technically a slug, so I'll call him Slugma in your honor, Joe. That's fine, but who is this Slugma? Donnie, do you know what Barack is talking about? Is that some sort of hidden bug legendary or something? L-M-A-O. Not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea, Joe, but I've lost my car all of a sudden. Where did it go? Moral of the story, boys, make sure to check if she has a dick first. Saves you a lot of trouble in the long run. Great advice as always, Joe. But holy esper ears, Batman. We ran into a Batman. Why are you calling us the superhero? Wouldn't you be the black man, Barack? Batman, not black man. Uh, same thing. Well, get ready to wrap it up after this capture, Barack, as you've covered all surf routes up to Pacific Log Town. So that should be a good time to end this gaming sesh. 
I know I've been playing for 25 minutes, but realistically, our Palafin piping editor will probably cut down this part to like 15 minutes by now. All we've been doing is surfing and telling very strange stories that I'm sure Game Producer 6 won't take out of context to scar the viewers. There's two routes to the left, to the left of the town. Once I snag those two, we can leave it off for today. Hey, that, that's no fair. You're getting extra gaming time and GP said it's my turn to play the pink Game Boy. Chill out there, Donnie. I ain't trying to jolt tick you off my guy. How about I name the next two monsters after whatever you think of fucked up spacing and everything? Gee willikers, you'd really do that for me, Obama senpai. Will you stop sucking each other off with leech life and try to actually capture this guy, Obama? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't call me that name Joe. You know that's inappropriate right now. What's the issue with it, Barry? You see, boys, that's the fusion name between Sukuna and myself. Back in 2012, when Leonardo DiCaprio used the DNA splicers on us for the first time, he combined our names too. Only when Sukuna surfaces are we then called Obamna. We are many, you are but one. Wake up, babe, new president's lore just dropped. There goes Joe talking to his Anya Forger pillow again. I'm actually speaking to my Deku body pillow. Get your facts straight. I should be getting my Ash Ketchum one from Amazon any day now. Leave my cousin out of this creepy Joe. Somehow I feel this is all my fault, so I'm obligated to say this. Shut up. Welcome to the squad, X. But in the end, he became strong enough to take on the challenges of reality. All while banging six of the school's hottest chicks? Technically nine if you count EX. Would you look at that? A literal MILF. Crikey, is that a baby Kanga in its pouch? A literal JILF. I've come to accept I will never tame you guys at this rate. It is just not possible. This guy is a low enough level. I think I can address something real quick for the viewers. We just want to apologize for the inconsistent uploads recently on these videos. As the series is now reaching its intense climax. Shout outs to Donald's sister. We are aiming for a smooth finish with weekly uploads up until the finale. The delays in the last few episodes were due to a few causes. Was it because GP's writer's block hit him like a bronzong? Possibly. Was it because he's a ditto dodging dickhead? Maybe. But in reality, the problem was the three of us. Since we are playing this totally too legit to quit copy of Pocket O Monsters Sapphire for the Nintendo on a sexy ass Whismur pink Game Boy, we physically have to send the Game Boy and cartridge to each other in the mail before each play session. The US post system has been shafting us lately, so if there's anyone to blame, it's them. Come on guys, the mailman is just trying to do his job. He puts in his blood, sweat, and piss into delivering this precious save file to us every week, so let's cut him some slack. I actually have a male woman who I give the package to every week. Oh, I also give her the Game Boy, I guess. Never mind, we found the mistake. Give me five minutes and I'll get her fired like a numal. Thanks boys for backing me up, but I just wanted to put it out there for the audience. This detail was also revealed in the Discord server earlier this week. The link is down below my belt saws buckle. Are you spamming Horn Leech again, Sleepy Joe? Reminds me of my all-time favorite Pokemon pickup line. Ahem. Why hello there, young lady and or young laddie. Come and sip your Drampus sap, why don't you? If that line ever works, I will chug a hydro cannon from a fur alligator's wet cheeks. Anyways, Barack, go ahead and call this beast mama, but not spaced out. She deserves that much respect, at least. Okay, Donald, that's no problem. I would say that this is one of your more tame nicknames, so I'm fine with it. The more mommies, the merrier. Insert something funny. Hilarious rebuttal plus callback. Intricate and sly Pokemon reference for the fans. Dramatic pause to boost viewer retention. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Donatello. I already have a nickname lined up for this guy. I will space it out like a Palkia for you if you'd like, but I need to shout out a homie of mine who got me this far. Barack, that is totes adorbs. You don't have to name him after me. I don't deserve such credit. I'm not talking about your Del Mize ass Joe. Shout out to the boy, Melofira. That's where GP gained a lot of his clout. So viewers, if you could head over to his Twitch channel down below and drop that boy a follow, we would be forever grateful. Have you seen that man dressed up in a bread costume? He's just irresistible, I tell you. I've seen some tasty bread throughout my life in more ways than one. So I'll have to check him out and see if he is as delicious looking as Barack is making him out to be. KFC would have been a good name here, so think it over one more time. Obama. Our editor features in his streams occasionally. I heard they're doing a bathtub charity stream soon, which is just breathtaking. How generous of them to use their body for good over evil. Two streamers, one tub, 
I feel like I've seen that video before and I don't like where this is going. Anybody want to play a game of cups? Let me get my vintage synesty set out. Run, Barack. Save yourself. Oh, Christ. I better make this quick. Mello also loves to use Melfi's, so I'm going to manifest this nickname to bring us a chicken Melfi one day. Work with us here, Konami. Good work today, Barack. I'm going to run like a reboot to Mackers to fill up my margin power. The more smack em, sack em, mac munchies I massacre, the stronger my form shall be. You running somewhere? Good one, Donald. I'm going to head to the church to say some prayers for our team next episode. Also to see if the priests can teach me their child-loving skills. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today I will be playing instead of Joe for the sole purpose of redeeming myself for that rough seventh gym fight I had. Oopsie doopsie, I'll be bodying Archie with all my might. No quirks needed. How's it going, boys? I'm doing great, Donnie. I just planted 99 new seeds on the farm today by hand. It was meant to be 100, but I think I dropped the last one somewhere. Either that or it ran away. Anyways, glad to be back again with you guys. Always a pleasure. How about you, Joe? I'm good peasants. Just did my usual captain duties today. I went to work as the best trainer, ate a pizza as the strongest, walked my dogs as the psycho. You know, the usual stuff -o. I love the leadership, Joe, don't get me wrong. If we were all a phalanx, you'd definitely be the front one, but I'd appreciate if you acted a little more humble. Silence, mortal! There shall be no retreat as we continue our scuba diving adventures here to capture another foul beast of the wild. As your ruler, you shall listen when I say, catch the next goon at all costs. Great, the Joe Tyranny arc has begun. Or maybe we were always in it. This has to be the worst segment of the manga. The ending is so poorly written. Wait, I'm anime only for the President Sapphire series. Are we in trouble, Barack? Spoilers are a serious crime. Donald, call me Absol, because I sense a disaster on its way. Oh gosh, dang it, darn it, guys. It's a Curlia, even though it's only one level away from evolving. I hate this bitch. I'm out of here. I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but Joe, look at its gender. It's a male. Now sit back down, please. Back Satan, stay back! Arceus in heaven above, cleanse me of my sins! Different desk, same crappy build. I might just get a scissors called Parasect and use cut on my middle toe. At least then I will stop stubbing this shit. Oh, thank you, Swee. You were doing a bit, a callback. I'm glad you don't want to bang this dancing queen. He's probably only 17 too. I do not joke about whipping out my scatterbug to scatter bang this tutu enticing femboy. Once he gives me his ghouls, the pleasure of treasure will finally be unlocked. I cannot wait to transfer this guy up to generation four so he can false swipe my nuts on repeat, forever edging me and more importantly, helping me get over my erectile dysfunction. It's all in the name of medical research, I'm telling you. Okay, Mr. DiMaggio, while that was insanely creepy, what is Donald naming this endangered dude? Well, guys, I'm just hot off of watching the FNAF movie. Pure cinematic masterpiece BT dubs. I just can't see Curly as anything but a girl. Kind of like how everyone named Albert is age 50 and above. Call me Purple Guy, because I'm about to put a kid up in this animatronic stomach. There he is. There's the one that got away. It's okay, Obama. Don't be upset. There, there, buddy. Maybe in another life, Joe will be your guy. You'd keep all your promises. It'll be you two against the world. What? Not Joe. The sunker you cheesing chomper. Aw, oh, man. I was looking forward to making out in your Mustang to Radiohead Obama. Ew, that's disgusting. Why Radiohead? Better question. Why in a Mustang? Mother Trumpers have no class. I swear. I'm going to call this guy Sonny from Omori and grab his evolutionary item. Remember, guys, whenever in doubt, just use hash. Hashtag use hash? Now that's a movement I can get behind. Speaking of, wasn't his name Mooney? Regardless of what this guy evolves into, another grass type is going to be extremely helpful. At least we won't have to rely on Osama as much. This should be a blast! Interesting word choice there, Donald. What are you thinking, Joe? I'm thinking I'm in the mood for some vicious hentai right about now. And just like that, he speaks and his wish has been granted. How do you keep getting away with this Joe Gatto? Our president is tonight's big loser. His punishment? Polishing our brand new Tangela's shoes while Freakachu lives up to his name. Who knows what violent voltage he will perform on our poor old captain. I thought you said punishment? You're a fool if you didn't see that coming. Getting geek chewed by a Freakachu is like drinking water to Joe. Ew! Water! Disgusting! Miss me with that bullshit! 
I respect your opinion, Sleepy Joe, but just know I will not be slobbing on your knob. This evolution, though, that might make me act frisky like a phantom. Did we just obtain an Indian, or does this guy already have a laser sight aimed at him for a crisp headshot? I know it's early in the episode to be asking boys, but we have some tough fights ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and ask our comment question. All I'm doing now is searching for the aqua entrance and taking on the first few goons anyway. Viewers, my question of the day is, what is your favorite Pokemon anime opening of all time? This one's easy. Unbeatable from advanced battle. The singer oozes confidence like a gulpin. Instant hard on for me. Nah, for real though. That man makes it a statement that you cannot win against him. You just can't. He's unstoppable. He literally says you can try your best. This might be fun. Top five coldest lines ever dropped and you're telling me it's in a Pokemon theme song? The animated opening is freaking nostalgic as hell, too. All the legendaries, Ash's smug look as his team smokes everyone. The Reggies, it was just perfect, perfect. Down to the minute detail, perfect. I want to be the very best. I guarantee you 100% of you finished that line. It's bloody iconic, boys. Even if I take off the nostalgia glasses for a second, the song itself is a pure slap -a -roo. The beat, the vocals going 110%. The lyrics have both emotion and determination behind them. It's genuinely well written. The actual animated opening literally places the spotlight on Ash. Our underdog, our protag, and the kid we are always cheering for. His character as a whole is perfection, and this theme couldn't be more suitable for him. Pokemon really dropped peak on their first try, huh? Solid picks, guys. Now let me hit you with one out of left field. We will be heroes from Battle Dimension. There's no full version for the anime opening, which is a damn shame because it's a tune and a half. The female singer Kirsten Price sings the song with such grace and beauty. It's almost like a theme that represents Dawn, one of the best written characters in the whole franchise. Let's be honest with ourselves. She wants to make friends and become a hero using her Pokemon, but she isn't quite there yet. It's a song of hope. As she literally says, even if you are far from home, you don't have to feel alone as long as you have some trustworthy pals with you. I sure know who my pals are in that case. Anyways, it's incredibly sweet to me. Sure, it ain't the most upbeat or badass song they've used, but I like its softness here. Odd choice, I know. Whatever keeps you in good spirits to dunk on these trainers, Donald. I see you're pulling no punches with the team composition by bringing day one, Lucas and our recent edition X. Those boys should be proving their worth in battle very soon. This battle also ends the Ho-Oh versus Ante debate. Day one is clearly superior. <laughs> Stop, Joe. Don't make my nuts use victory dance. Hell no. Pause. What in tarnation Giratina alteration did I just witness? Why do you two always act so sus whenever I'm playing, huh? Oh, look. Our ball disease is evolving. Surely these nuts can't get any spikier. Spikes? Is your future sight hinting at a foratress, Joe? That was a decent guess, Donald, but unfortunately, his tasty balls just got spikier. I don't know about you kids, but I wouldn't want to be slugging on those things anytime soon. Man, this sucks. I haven't been this disappointed since the Queen of England died. She owed the U.S. like a trillion dollars. I know you miss your ex, Joe, but she's in a better place now. Any other reality besides this one where she doesn't have to put up with your wacky shenanigans anymore? You were right, Biden. That quick revive juice got me all kinds of messed up. I should have linked Prince Philip on this ship before he bit the dust. Holy biscuit tits and crumpet buns. Elizabeth, you're back once again for the renegade master. Power to the people, you fish and chip scoffing pig. Mr. America, how's that far-fetched stick doing? Is it ready for a wild round of my tapu lele? Oh God, I wasn't prepared for this resurrection erection today. I'm sorry, your highness. My Sir Viper is not ready for that puss puss and cuss cuss combo. Goman Nassai. Um, I think she meant me, Barack. Get in line. Doland, Joey, why in God's name is that slave in the same call as us? I'll throw a nest ball at him to guarantee his capture since we are levels above his whippity ass. No, please, not the dungeon again. Shut up, peasant. Encounter time. Oh, look, a snail, an American's favorite delicacy, am I correct? Just because I say just sweet crust and wee wee and I'm covered in bread and molest soufflés on the daily doesn't mean I'm French. 
I didn't know dementia was contagious, but I can see why you two were a perfect match, Sleepy Joe. Leave my dyspepsia out of this, young goose. I don't care about your willy and croissants. You know I meant to say Germany. It was an easy mistake, like your birth. Well, glizzy rizzy, if I may. I think what Donald was trying- back! Shut the fuck up, Naga. Stay back, you pest. What are you thinking about naming this funny little guy Thin Lizzy? Call him Lord after our Lord Helix, the true religion of England. Just nobody wants to admit it. Oh, my Lord, forgive my sins. He does look delicious. This revival blessing won't last forever, so I'm heading back to Galar to have a catch up with Opal. That old bitch is always away with the fairies, I swear. Happy birthday, Mr. Exotic. If I still had a functioning body, you bet I would be giving you brain like a yuxi and twice as much tail. Oh, swoobat stank. I forgot it was your birthday this week, Joe. Donald and I will both use the move, celebrate to commemorate such a wonderful day. What age did you say you are now? If I remember correctly, I'm years old now. Never thought I'd make it this far, to be honest with you all. Well, here's to many more sleepy, Joe. You don't look a day over 8,000, you seismitoad sucker. Are you planning on calling any scorching hot serenas for the weekend? That's gross. Why would I do that? Well, I mean, to Z celebrate your birthday, of course. What are you talking about? It's not my birthday. I don't even have a birthday. What are you two strangers doing in my house? Get out of my damn colored TV. I want to watch the Knicks playing basketball. I see. After he leveled up, Joe learned amnesia. You know, after my last birthday, I began to question the mortality of my own birth, Barack. Life will throw many obstacles and challenges your way, each of which you must find a way to overcome and proceed to the next. All for the purpose of what may I ask? We all live to die, so what is life worth living for? Well, fellas, I'm not a Pokemon professor, but if I had to guess, it's for moments like these, times where we can all get together and play through a children's role-playing game with the sole purpose of fulfilling self-inflicted rules to gain insignificant pleasure. But is this not life's true essence? I guess what I'm trying to say, boys, is this. Life is like a nuzlocke. If you die, you die for good. Are you serious right now, Donald? Wow, that was breathtaking. I still don't know who you are, you hip howden looking chump. But that was inspirational, magnificent. You should run for president someday. Really, Joe? Really? You're falling for this Team Rocket level propaganda? Make Hoenn great again. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is get this stupid ass strength puzzle out of the way and get ready for the battle of your life. My hands are wetter than a choodle right now. Shit! Is there any way we can convince you to not power up in this fight? You saw the carnage it caused last time. That would defeat the purpose of this redemption saga, Joe. Besides, my team isn't mega turtonator dung like it was during the Tate and Liza fight. So I literally just have to play smart. That's the part we worry about, you playing smart. Very funny, Joe. Now say something to really piss me off so I can transform. You suck ass, you iron thorn built cum stain. Ha, pathetic. No, you're pathetic. You probo pass coke sniffing Jew looking ass. Wow, never heard that one before you yawn spammer. I just hacked your Twitter and made you tweet black and white were peak. You did what now you flailing zirky tree? Oh Christ, here we go. You know what? Keep expectations low. If day one is the only one alive by the end, this battle is a dub. Opening kill, easy. Time to brick break a mother. I got this shit. Fuck you, Reed. Young Joey Lowy back calling me Splurge. X is physically gifted, but will times four be enough for a total knockout? Absol freaking lootly. Off to a terrific start. If this archfiend is trying to awaken Kai Ogre, he'll need more than a T-tar to do it. Hell, Hell no. no. Tread carefully, Donnie. We don't know the power of this guy. Well, you know what they say? Sleep Claws is a bitch if you're the computer. I'll size up this thick onigiri munch munch with another crickety brick break. What's a legendary to a non-believer? You might be better off switching and T-bolting with day one. Well, the chip from X should be handy regardless. Let's pray he doesn't rock slide our Groudon puss, eh? You're a pro at sleeping, Joe. Tell me, does it look like this goof is going to last the three-turn sleep count? Oh, a million percent Majin Donald. That baby is deep in the coma lands. Let's give him a nice electrical send-off and zap him to death in his sleep. I would be surprised if this didn't kill. That's two out of five, boys. Two out of five. Keep up the pressure, Donald, and we are making it through this laughing. I told you, this is child's play to me. Bring out whoever you'd like. I'll take him all on. <sighs> well, there you have it, boys. I was trying to hold in the Octazooka for as long as I could, but you know the drill. As soon as I see a Reggie, I can't help but bust. 
So much for No Nut November. I was doing so well. Does it disturb anybody else knowing someone has failed NNN to one of our videos? Just me? Christ, wait a minute, Donald. He got the Omni Boost. He was powerful before, but now he is ascending. Who the fuck is busting to these videos? If it's you, please don't leave a comment about it. That shit needs to be covered up like a mimic you. More like this guy's body will be covered once I... Wait, is this his second boost? Does this literal golem have two times all of his stats right now? Is that the image that's being burnt into my eyes right now? No worries. Surf clears. It ain't clearing shit. Did you see how slowly his health bar went down? Man, I wish I was playing right now so I could be getting irresistibly pounded by Reggie Brock. This is no time for your fantasies, Joe. Okay, hold up. I'm back in the kitsch. He's healing with a potion right now, so I'm doing the same with synthesis. Stab's super effective ancient power only did 40, which, when you think about it, is quite embarrassing. I'm not actually worried about this sculpturist prick. Never a good sign when Donald is making up his own words. But you're right. That return did a crisp four damage. You might be able to stall out his power points at this rate. Between dive, surf, and synthesis, it is very unlikely this dreamy unit can take you out. In before the surprise dynamic punch. Why the hell would you say that out loud, Joe? If he starts swinging like Tyson, kiss your kipper goodbye. I know you my kipper for real, right, Donald? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Totally, Joe. Keep it going. Bring about as much bad luck as you can muster because I will still body this fool. Three out of five. Three out of five. You are so close to victory now, Donnie. You want bad luck? So be it. With this treasure, I summon your worst nightmare, Donald. Oh, now this is a salty run back I have been itching for. Time to psycho boost this video's like and subscription rating by blowing you away. If Kipper had a bit more health right now, I would be fissuring you to the depths of the Earth's core and drowning you in Magcargo hot lava. You fuck! Okay, okay, watch the spore, Donald. I think he's trying to get you back for that sleep clause comment you made earlier. Wait, switch out. Donald, I predict an ice type move incoming. Wow. Not even an ice beam or ice punch? What a coward. Let me tell you something, boys. I'm on a fucking roll in this battle. So I'm going to prove how dominant I am to this game by 1v1-ing this buzz with our murky. I guess I'll start by dodging another sheer cold. To make it more interesting, I'm going to keep spamming poison powder, even though it's going to miss like a hundred times and still fuck this kid up. Yeah, here. Well, that's stupid. Just switch out to Lucas and disintegrate him. Hold on, Joe. We might have to let him cook on this one. We don't have anyone high enough level to nullify sheer cold. And if we were to lose anybody, I wouldn't really care about Murkrow. Sis doesn't even have a nickname. Another I have one. no attachment to her. If you can whittle away at this man to infinity and beyond, then go ahead, Donald. And if another not, one. Meh. Who cares anyway? At least it gives us a safe switch. Did you just see that? And another one! Donald, you madman! Donald, you freak! Donald, you shed in just sucker! Donnie, my bestie! You absolute beast! Did you just dodge five consecutive sheer colds right here on YouTube.tv forward slash game producer six? That's it, my gloves are off. I'm making love to the love balls tonight for this Omega clutch. I guess you could say my play was colder than a sheer cold. Cause this flutter main fucker could not land even a single one. Oh, but boy, I ain't done yet. I still have to show you my poisonous fly stall tactics. You are playing so cancerous right now, Donald. I love it. Sick him, boy. This guy's AI is smarter than your average trainer. So if he had a super effective move, he'd be using it right now. Safe to say quick attack is probably his strongest option, which ain't doing a bean to us. Pack your bags, Archie. This game is over for you. Goody, goody. He has now been poisoned. Glorious. I will proceed to witness his life force slowly drain from his body as I take to the skies. Whenever it's a president's play series, you expect to see some wacky stuff. But a Murkrow croaking an Electabuzz was probably not on anybody's mind when booting up this video. You're totally right there, Donnie. Since he's nearly dead, it wouldn't be a bad idea to switch out now since we are on set mode. Might as well send in a fresh monster for whatever his final Pokemon is, plus it will save us a turn. Already one step ahead of you, Obama. I'm gonna let him put Murky asleep so he's unlikely to use Spore again. Then I can switch in day one to the quick attack with no fear of being put to sleep. Checkmate, bitch. And I was worried you couldn't play smart. I look like the fool. Where was this Donald for 90% of the adventure? Who cares, Joe? The important thing is we have him now in the end game where it truly matters. Before we get to said end game, let me finish Thanos snapping the opposing team in this Infinity War. Time to avenge all those who have fallen. 
Didn't you let most of them die, though? Side note, why didn't Tony Stark just perform the MVC2 loop on Thanos? I thought that's what the Infinity was referencing. Yo, you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? Three swift thunderbolts. And this fight is finished. I'm keeping my guard up. However, now that the rain is set, this literal pink pussy could launch any water type devastation our way. I will let you ride Michelle like a Basque Legion if you come out of this battle unscathed Donald. Offer me something I haven't done before, will you? Cheapskate. I will offer you my black back door like it's Pokestar Studios, Donnie boy. I know why mine is black, but how come yours is too, Joe? Actually, don't answer that. I'm pretty confident for all the years I've known you, Joe, you would have offered that to me before. I can't pinpoint when exactly, but it sounds like something you'd offer just about anybody. The only thing I'm offering you is this insanely huge dub, Donald. Let's freaking go. Margin Trump, the man, the myth, the magical wonder, the freaking goat. Man really said, hold up. I'm about to beat these fraudulent allegations in one fell swoop. You just changed from Bugsy to Lance in his single showing. I'm popping off, guys. I'm so happy. All in a day's work, boys, but thank you. Unfortunate that the Slugma evolution here isn't all that great, but I guess it's never a bad thing to tick off the list. I'm so dead-ass happy for you. I'm not even going to hit you with the Slugma ass right now. The what? Wait, I thought I murdered Kai Ogre. Why is he still trying to summon him like it's one of those knockoff Pokemon gotchas? It's the classic, you beat me in the gameplay, but I still win in the cutscene moment, Donnie. It's okay, we will be catching this legendary next episode anyway. Interesting, so basically, this fumbling idiot thought that the red orb would work on the blue Pokemon. Is this bastard colorblind? Your uniform is even blue for God's sake. How do you manage to screw up this badly? Why do these orbs even work on legendary Pokemon to begin with? It's a walking plot device. I'm surprised this doesn't happen regularly. Why is there a hellish storm covering the land? Because little Timmy found a blue ball and used it to control the whale of the sea. Why does it exist? Fair point, guys, but it's a Pokemon story. It's just an excuse to sell merchandise, so don't fret over it. There he is, the champion of the league. We will be seeing him in three or four more episodes, boys, so be prepared. Shit, are we nearing the end already? Save your tears for another day, Donald. We aren't at the finish line just yet. Let's wrap it up on the back of that huge win. Joe, you kind of said all that needs to be said. Excellent play from you today, Donald. I would call that a successful redemption, but I guess we will have to let the viewers decide if that holds true. What's up, bitches and bitchettes? Welcome back to the President's Play Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke Edition. Today I will be sweeping this final gym from Wallace the Theater Boy with my cheerleaders Barack Obama and Donald H. Trump. What's going on, fellas? Nothing much, Joe. Just mentally preparing myself for the final saga of this series. I've been sparring with Sukuna a couple hours here and there to be ready for the league. How's it hanging, Donald? I'm good, Barack. Still chuffed after the last video, I gotta say. Even I was shocked with my performance. What's the game plan, Joe? Evolving Sir Shit straight away? You'd want to be careful if that's the case. This Corsola is doing damage. Knock him a please. The spider's fine. Get over it. GP wouldn't script a death at the start of a video. Is this a prank? We aren't live right now, are we? It's all right, it's all right. As Dawn would say, let me crush your head with my pokey thighs because there's no need to worry. Or at least that's what I wish she would say to me. We've only been recording for a hot minute, so let's start over. Now, if I just hold B and select at the same time, it should... Did you just load a save state? Oh, for the love of Whitney, how far back did you go? Well, we were in Slateport only a short while ago for the submarine cutscene, so if I had to guess... Oh my good gracious, gobbly Galvantula. This is before the third gym. Are you shitting me? Bullshit, your wife, King Kong, Lil Ziga. Oh my gosh, the memories are rushing back to me. Two cannon tits. Okay, Joe, listen to every move I call out. First, you're going north, 12 tiles, left three steps. Then once you get to that patch of grass, you need to turn around in six frames exactly. Six hours later. After that, we are back to where we left off. Holy hell, I am giga drained after that. I cannot believe you retraced every RNG value to recreate our journey step by step, Barack. That was gnarly. And good on you, Joe, for following all of his instructions. Shame Sir Shit still died against that Corsola, so this was all practically useless, but it was worth a shot. Gonna grab our next encounter on this dangerous machine real quick. How y'all can control this doohickey is beyond my understanding. 
Aha, uh-huh. payback is a bitch, Donnie. Since you called the Slack King Joe when you were playing, I'm going to dedicate this lazy gimp to you. I thought payback was a dark type move. Well, slather my tree with honey. That was some college of knowledge coming from yourself, Donald. Totally unexpected hot damn. I only know that because I was paying back Joe's mama last night with a jaw lock. Call me a self-harming Ma's chiff because that was pure dark. You know, Joe's mama used to be my manager, right? I'd always slam her body like a dog until she was left sore. You could say my boss stiff. How did this turn into a gangbang roast against my mother? I want to turn. Let me go next. Oh, God, we fucked up, Donnie. Abort, abort. Wait, I changed my mind. I'm actually a normal type. Let's move swiftly along. You're going to roast me with this slack off, right, Sleepy Joe? Oh, yeah, you are indeed correct, Don Flamingo. I had a good name lined up, but now I can't remember. Just remember how much of a dickhead Donald is. Does that help? Try insult him like he did to you. That's right. That's me, big pee-pee head. No leperberry. Aha! I got it. I'm going to call this bitch Donald Dick. Can you at least use D-dance on D-dick then? You'd like that, wouldn't you, you naughty boy? That was close, Donald. Good work diverting that dodgy conversation. No worries, Barack. I just couldn't stand the thought of poor old Joe getting flamed in the comments for saying he wants to head smash his own mom. I'd rather them shit on him for getting the whole team swept or something. What are you two shallow slimeballs whispering about? Oh, nothing, Mr. Chestnut. We were just saying we should be quiet to listen out for the cry of whatever this Kai ogre happens to be randomized to. Who wants to nut on my chest? I'm not saying no, I'm just wondering. You have a shorter attention span than a Tynamo, Joe. Ha! Tyna Joe. Who? The... CAC? A level 50 grass type. Holy shit! This is exactly what we needed, boys. Imagine evolving this guy and having a level 51 vile plume or executor or septile. The potential for this guy is outstanding. I'm excited too, Joe. Yeah! No, you palmy bastard. I think I'm having a heart attack. Quick, call the amber lamp. Don't be ridiculous, Joe. Let me shapeshift into a cum for you and use aromatherapy. Poof. Oh, wowie zowie. You've been cured of your heart disease, you little bitch. Well, tickle my marsh and stomp on my balls. I didn't think that would actually work, Barack. Thanks, I owe you one. I even managed to catch this prickly little goof while undergoing all that stress. Guess it's time to end the episode here. What do you say? Explain the nickname first, and then I'll crush claw your dreams. Okay, well, according to our editor, Cack the Jack is a common phrase in the land of the Irish and the leprechauns, which means to shit the pit, duke the jukes, soil the poipole, scatter the fecal matter, level the Nutella, hoof the bidoof. Okay, stop now, please. That's enough shit coming from you. Oh, for God's sake. Ha, ha, ha. He got you there, Barack. And just to rub some purifying salt in the wound, you ain't ending this episode just yet, Joe. Nice try. I know exactly how you feel, Joe. That cruel dudeni colored dipstick makes me feel that way inside, too. You and I will get through this. Don't worry, buddy. Technically, I've been playing for like half a day to make it back here, so I think I should pass the turn over to one of you guys. Um, I don't really feel like fighting Wallace anymore. Plus, I think I need a haircut, and I broke my right ear recently, and my grandpa died at some point, and my son twisted his nipple, and the sun is slowly approaching the earth. I've got to do something, guys. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you have been smack-talking Donald and I the past few episodes, Joe, and we've let it slide like a tortuga. All of a sudden, it's your turn to fight, and you're running away like a radicate. So much for our reliable captain. Wait, that was you shit-talking, Joe? Er, my gird, that is embarrassing as hell. I didn't even notice that's how abysmal your roast must have been. All right, save and quit, then you cowardice bitch. Give it up. You suck. Wait, hold on. I changed my mind. This gym is dark type. That automatically makes it more free than a five-finger discount at Walmart. I'm surprised you didn't call it a Barack type gym. I was really expecting it this time. I have a little decency towards you, Obama. Come on, I'm not that bad. Plus, that's what I'd call a ghost type gym. Because I want your kind dead. Hey, to the freakity, yo. What did he just say? The only thing dying here is this chicken kicking licking cock. Joe, what the dodrio do do is this? Why aren't you switching? I'm meticulously utilizing my cross chop so I can land a critical hit on the last one against Wallace's final team member. It will literally be a life or death situation for twitch.tv forward slash Melofira here. So by rolling the proper RNG value, I'm guaranteeing that final critical hit for when I need it the most. 
Well, there you have it, boys. I was trying to hold in the hydro steam for as long as I could, but you know the drill. As soon as someone mentions random number generators, I can't help but bust. Quite unprofessional, Barack. At least I completed No Nut November. Anyways, boys, while I'm tail slapping this gym upside the head real quick, I think it's time for another comment question. Viewers, today's question is, what is your favorite item in all of Pokemon, bringing it back to the basics? I've actually admitted mine before, but it's the amulet coin. Straight up just doubles the money you get from battles. What more is there to love? Buying stuff is an integral part of playing any Pokemon game, and this makes acquiring those items much easier. If you need potions or Pokeballs, you can buy more throughout the adventure. If you need vitamins or certain technical machines for competitive battling, you'll get the funds up in no time. Just slap this dog tag looking item on your overleveled starter. Blitz the Elite Four and then you're practically a millionaire. Works for just about any game, any region. Oh my gosh, we should do that with Snoop. Anywho, mine is Eviolite. It's very rare that a game freak messes with the idea of stopping an evolution to weigh up the pros and cons of a final stage Pokemon. Generally speaking, the ending monster is always the strongest. But with this item, they've created a genuine advantage in having a mid or first stage evolution. What's better than a max special defense Blissey? A 150% special defense Chansey. Brings me back to the red and blue days when that egg carrying MILF was one of the greats. She's not the only effective user of the item, however. Dubblade, Dusclops, Scyther, Bish Sharp, Porygon 2, and literally the entirety of Little Cup. I would personally love to see a similar item that boosts attack maybe by 1.3 times for balance sake and see how that would impact the meta. Here's to hoping. Mine is leftovers. If you're ever struggling to figure out what type of item to give to your Pokemon, this one is always a safe bet. Free healing is huge, whether that be competitive or in a challenge run like what we're doing right now. In earlier generations, it was obviously overpowered for being too strong for how low damaging the meta game was, especially in Gen 2. But as the power has drastically increased since those days, the item has scaled relatively smoothly in comparison. It's not broken anymore, but it can still help you out a ton in the right situations. All right, I'm ready to face the consequences of this statement. Toxic stalling and protect spamming adds another layer to the game. There, I said it. There ain't anything wrong with those strategies. They just aren't as flashy as pure offense teams, so people like to shit on them. Lefties is literally so iconic as an item. The creator of FNAF named an animatronic after them. Give me an item with a greater achievement than that. You can't. Lefty was not inspired by a regularly restorative item in a children's role-playing game. It was a cheap cash grab to include a dark-skin-toned Freddy to appeal to the minorities. I see it worked on yourself, Barack. That makes sense. So does Lolbit represent me, then? Day 966 of Donald thinking he is white. Sweet Marini on a pike. When will this suffering end? Speaking of, I believe Chica and Law just leveled up, so we're getting two evolutions here for the price of one. Looking like a Ninkata. Please evolve into something even more delicious looking. A Kingdra would be nice. Hold up, did anyone else's vagina just get extremely itchy? I would say this is a good cop. Vaj is one of our better soldiers still alive and kicking in our PC, so having a spare cub foo-foo isn't a bad thing, really. You know, I was with a cloister-looking bitch once. I told her all I'm asking for is the minky and the brain. All right, you jet-punching piplup, quiet down. We have the most important evolution of the run right here. Oh my god, no, please no. Barack, are we safe where we stand? I really don't know, Donald. My advice, prepare for the worst coming from Joe. I can't tell if that was a groan of pain, pleasure, or both. Frankly, I'd rather not know the answer. Ironic how the name still fits as he's become as yellow as Joe's piss. Stats are decent across the board with notable HP, which is huge. Hold on, Obama, something ain't right. Joe, you've been acting sus this episode, and I don't mean in an NDD deep-throating way like I'm used to. Is everything good, buddy? Shut up, Espathra Piper. I'm insecure and I know what for, but talking about it ain't gonna help. Oh, Joe, don't be like this. I've known you my whole life, ever since you held me hostage until my parents forked over that hollow Pikachu Illustrator card. Understandable, by the way, so you can trust Barack and I to help you through your worries. What's up, my man? He's right, Joe. These little screams or orgasms or whatever you are having aren't pleasant to listen to constantly. Please, tell us what's really going on. Okay, okay, guys, I'll tell you. Only because I trust you too and the other seven million people watching this video right now. 
I think the reason I'm having these little strokes or heart attacks or liver failures or strokes is because I'm a teeny bit nervous in fighting Wallace. I've literally been playing for six hours and I only got 33 hours of sleep last night. It's well past my bedtime right now, so I think I'm just freaking a little bit since this final gym leader is so important to this run, you know? And that's totally understandable. Of course, you would be rattled like a Dunsparce if so much pressure was put on you. I bet your PP has been getting lower too. I just presume that happened once you surpassed a couple thousand years old anyway. My Twizzler hasn't been twisted in decades at this point. My heart goes out to you, Joe, but don't worry, we will get through this gym together as a team. Is that all that's bothering you? There's nothing else we can help you with? We are here for you, my boy. Well, I did intake 80 HP ups, proteins, irons, calciums, zincs, and carbos each this morning. I know the daily dosage is like 10 max, but they are just so darn yummy, I couldn't resist. Ha ha ha. Do you guys think Murkrow will live this toxic poison? You took how many? You dark winged dick, ripping prison girthy max schmirky. I was joking, you idiots. He's living 100%. Don't even think about using Rock Smash. Get the hell out of there, man. Cack the Jack or Chica is honestly your best bet, or Thunderbolt from day one. Are we going to skim over the fact that Joe has ingested so many tablets today he could drop dead at any minute? Our Murkrow is basically you right now, you drug addict. Poisoned and left on its last legs. You cannot say shit about drugs, you rowel at reef blower. I'm going to start calling you Tropius the way the grass makes you fly. Both of you sit the hell down. I've got this on lock like a Klefki. This crawdaunt is garbage. Endeavor is one of the most useless moves ever, unless you try to cheese with it. Extra sensory is okay, I guess, but it is pointless unless it's super effective. And Ice Punch, I suppose, is its only good move. Why should I even be worried right now? Oh, please. I rolled a fresh bell sprout or two, and all of a sudden, I have a problem? I better not get this much hate when I chow down on some she nautics next time. Now, now, Barack, this episode ain't about you. We're here to support and encourage our best man, Joe, who we have so much faith in, right? Uh, I suppose so. Thank you, Oomphies. Y'all are the best. I'm feeling like I've overcome my anxiousness now. These happy days must carry on. So once again, let's go back to the start. I don't know about you boys, but I feel like after that last segment, I heard a single teardrop falling from the editing room. Speaking of which, we are approaching the finale of this series, so make sure to show your love and support viewers by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. Imagine the last episode when we rip the Elite Four limb by limb and make Steven stone our bitch. How hype is that going to be? The last episode will also premiere live here on YouTube, so make sure to hit the bell and turn on notifications to be sure to catch that when it drops. This series has been a long ride, but all good things come to an end. Except Gen 4 OU, peak metagame balance. I wouldn't say that now, Donald. The introduction of Stealth Rocks butchered a lot of monsters like my brother in Christ Moltres. They should have planned ahead the significance of entry hazards and buffed the Phoenix. Buff the Phoenix? No! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I've got five bars activating X Factor. I can't control it. <laughs> Limiters removed. Operating nanomachines, son. Oh my gosh, Barack, are you seeing this? I know. I can't believe it. It's 2023. Who leads with a mighty Enna anymore? You can do better than that, Wallace. No, you spoink shagger. I mean, full power master Joshi over here. What's this all about? Puny worm pulse. This is the effects of overdosing on the body. If you frail little humans could withstand it, you mere ningans become so overwhelmed with power that your feeble bodies cannot comprehend its enhancement in physical and mental capabilities. Witness my true power. This is my OD form. So you've gone OD. That's kind of OD. So what you're saying is you've been stockpiling this power with the use of the vitamins this whole playthrough. That's all fine and dandy. But here's my biggest concern. How exactly does any of this help you in a Pokemon battle? You can mash the A button 100 times harder. So what? These Crawdons seem to be savages. What if Wallace pulled out three or four of them? Would you lose? Nah, I'd win. I can literally flex on them. Oh, Butterfree on a baguette. This isn't good. I get worried when your Gojo Biden personality takes over. You get too cocky for your own good. Why is bro saying my ego too big? When day one is finna sweep the nature boy here real quick. One time for the one. Woo! You didn't even kill him, you fool. And there's the item, probably a berry ready to mess shit up. You fell for the trap. A lychee berry. Oh God, someone help us. We are in deep trouble. Oh yes. 
so much trouble because now he's wasted his healing item as this second thunderbolt kills. Nobody could have seen this coming. Oh, wait, I did. Wait a darn diddly diglet here. Joe is actually cooking at this moment. One serving of your finest marinated chin chow balls, please. Two seconds. I'll whip them up after I switch out day one. No! More like he was destined to die one day. <laughs> uh, am I right, folks? There just ain't no way. My baby boy. If you want, I can reload the safe state and we can try this all over. Keep again. your trap in shut, bitch. You dearling in headlights looking saws fuck. I will joust your fucking dog shit ass like a sir fetched. I'll leave your body covered in snow like a snom. You wiggly tough ass cracker. As if a P ain't killing this sucker right now. Have some faith in my god tier ass. Bullshit, no grand bull. Can you guys guess who I am? Hey kids, it's me, Clown Joe from Jubilife. Hop in the back of my pokey van for a free poke etch app and free chalky ice cream, as well as some savory cum. Sounds like that guy, I think his name was Lee. He's from JBTV. He's always pulling freaky stunts like that. I'm a little concerned you know about this creepy subject, Joe, but I'm even more worried about our team right now. Our ace literally just dropped like a ton of rocks because of a ton of rocks. Now Chica is pimp smacking himself while getting electrocuted. This battle is going south real quick. I just need to low kick this puppy. Give me a chance here, will you? It just had to be the black dog, didn't it? I don't make the team's Barack, I just sweep them. My visions are showing me I will definitely be breaking through confusion on this turn. I knew it. I was right about you, Crooked Joe. You really are the most corrupt president in our history. Screw the election, screw the media, and screw being the representative of our country. The fact you are the most dog shit Pokemon player in the US, no, in the world, proves that you are an incompetent trainer. Incompetent? Need I remind you that you lost four monsters in the Tate and Liza fight and a total of seven Pokemon in that episode as a whole. I'm about halfway through Wallace's team who is much tougher and I've lost two monsters so far. I'm actually on pace here for a decent finish. I like the positivity, Joe. Ice Beam should mangle this Cacturn with no issues. Just don't get hacked out against this guy. I don't know what this Cub Chew Coke sniffer was taking in the pre-fight stalls, but using mist there was not the play. Sayonara, my favorite fleshlight. Imagine if he had two more Cacturns, this fight would be one and done. Man's on that charge of bug copium. The bug buzz from that shit ain't bad, I can't lie, but we can't expect a free ride to victory. This crabby, non-crabby looking Pokemon would get smoked right now if I got an Omni Booster too. I'm gonna whip out my Super Rod and fish for it. Wait, he's using extra sensory, but that Perky Murky is immune to psychic type moves. Switch him in, that would be your best play to also cure Laud of Confusion. Damn, Fraud Bomba is defeating the allegations today by choosing smarts over violence. What a mastermind of a read. I ran out of ancient power PP anyway, you Cosmog Kunkers. Plus Rock Smash knocks out from here. A monkey could have made the right choice there. Let me rephrase that. Barack's sister could have made the right choice there and she's a girl. Shit! Look at this mozzarella bastard. What's the point in lowering your monster's health to use Endeavor? That would be a terrible strategy if we used it. There's a big difference between him and us. He could use items, Joe. What the actual fuck are you thinking? He should have used Ice Punch. That would have one-shot Murkrow easily. He might use Endeavor again, so I'll go in to cack the Jack. But now he's going to use Ice Punch. Oh, what's the point? He's dead already. Well, we do have a lot of HP, so there's a chance. Miss me with that weeb shit, Obama. Not now. I need to focus my Biden Blast so I can secure me some lobster for dinner. As someone who has unfortunately been in this situation before, please don't let the battle slip now, Joe. How can I slip if I'm the one doing the mopping? This chicken milf or melf or furry thing here is going to leaf blade this guy into the next big bang. Let's get it. You forgot about the psychic move already, didn't you? No, I didn't, broke Obama. We are living this every time. Oh my God, my heart, my young deep fried golden covered heart. Now it's time for the switch and rock smash will take him out. I told you that I'm the bestest. You've only been playing decent for the past two turns. You still have a lot to make up for to catch the dub. Where's Glizzy Rizzybeth when I need her? She can roast this guy while gagging on my chip. Please give us a Sableye or Sharpedo or something easy. We need this right now. It's the last month. Yippee! I love a challenge. Time to fuck up some more aquatic life. I respect the poison play. Hold on, boys. We've so got this. 
I honestly didn't have any Wait a damn sand true second. He's got a lumberry. Wait, what the fuck a petcha? This is a fucking joke. This battle is scripted, Joe. How much you getting paid? And then ice punch to eviscerate murky. A bit unlucky is what I call that. Don't worry, guys. I'll get him back with a hypnosis so I can safely switch into our kickin' chicken. It's a foolproof strategy, let me assure you. And now you've got to break through confusion, only to land a 60% accuracy move. Dear Lord, where did it all go wrong? Is it because I caught the stupid-ass toilet bird from back then? If so, forgive me. Didn't know you were so religious, Donald. Say hi to Wagma when you rot in hell. You're both acting like this is Jover, but it ain't Jover. Here's the confusion break. And there's the fucking miss. <laughs> Everything this battle has been amiss, you sleepy bastard. Donald was right. Guys, why can I see the pearly gates? Why is Arceus himself slowly descending down upon me? Is it the end of the world? I sure don't feel fine. This is why they call me the Climax King, the Clutch Crown Prince. Here it comes, cross chop crit to close out the battle. Wait, we might still live if we get the low roll and the stars align. in chain. Hello, you insignificant worm poles. Welcome to the idiotic Americans play a Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. That's what they call the series anyway. I would just title it the greatest embarrassment in history. Take last episode as an example, in fact. Ha ha! Special grade Gojo Biden got cut in half by Wallace the washing machine, who I will now be bodying with the medal in full like a Saul Galeo. I'm doing good, guys. Thanks for asking. Anyway. I didn't ask if you were okay, Dondozo Bozo. Good morning, Barack. Looking blacker than usual today, I see. You'll never believe it, but I just woke up from the strangest dream. I was fighting Wallace, and I lost our entire team, including the likes of Day One, Cack the Jack, and Chica. I was also extremely muscular and sexy. Well, even more than I usually am, I should say. Anywho, where's the Game Boy? I can't find it anywhere. It's my turn right now, isn't it? You sacks of Grimer sludge make me laugh. I'm about to chew this guy up and spit him out. Call me Toilet. Remember him? Remember when he died? Ha! I'll make sure to leave some leftovers for you archons. You leave Toilet Bird out of this, you monster? But why it is you who does not belong in this world, Mr. Good Biden? What even is a man? Man is what you're doing right now, my lord. Utter manslaughter. Just sweet crumbs. All I know is man can never be hot. Look! What a dumb play from the king of curses and forgetter of clearing his Google searches. I don't know what Umbrians were like back in the Hayan era, but they run powder snow now. You old timer. Wow, you're so right. How do you know so much about his team, O.D. Joe E? Oh yeah, because he fucking obliterated your entire team last time you played. Sit down and shut up or shit down and shut up. I really don't care which. I think the only time I can respect a lie noon is when he is used in your hands, my master. You're even going for the horn drill that killed Wagma and his entire clan? This is why you're the goat. Please, sign my meditite titties. Okay, now that the worst evolution is dead, I'm going to use Fisher with Dugong. The first is going to miss, so I'll land the second one with my domain expansion. I heard they retconned your malevolent shrine in the latest episodes, my lord. May I lower my head and ask you why they would do such a thing? It's not a retcon, it's an evolution. They said they wanted me to cook, so cook I did. Ryoiki Tenkai. Here comes the cleavers and dismantines. Watch out, Donnie. Fukuma. Mizushi. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Papi Suka Suka. Please, swap bodies with me. There's nothing I'd love more than you inside me. No pause. Stop talking, you boofalant built fuck. I make my exit once again, but let me assure you that we will most definitely be meeting very soon. Put it to my brain. Scream die, Sukuna, and pop it. I do rejoice every time I hear the sound of your voice, Barack. What the? I'm alive? What happened while I was gone, guys? I don't recall a thing. All I remember is Melf hitting the fattest cross chop that we had to hope was a critical... Did we get it? Did we beat Wallace? Tell me everything. Tell him, Mr. O.D. Joey. Well, Barack, we won. LOL. That's it. Come on, Joe. Spill the sinus tea. Yeah. Make like a chat tot and chatter to me, will ya? You bluebird bitch. Okay, fine. Um, 
Truth be told, boys, I don't really remember what happened. Dead ass. When did we get to Moss Deep in Sutopolis? I thought we were in Slateport last time I was playing. Oh. My. God. Were you unconsciously playing for six hours last time? Is that even humanly possible? You're like Wigglytuff from Mystery Dungeon who sleeps with his eyes open. Fuck! Keep that Volo Voodoo shit away from me. Well, in that case, I guess the run lives on. In a state of neither success or failure. In a state of perpetual purple purloin pussy purgatory. I take that as a yes. A state of what now? You know better than to try understand Joe in any of these videos. Just focus on evolving my penis and making it stronger. No homo. He says in the gayest voice there ever was. Boy, George called. He wants his karma charmeleon back. You're not special. He rang me earlier asking to join Team Mystic, you frogadier finger flipper. I'm severely confused. What are you two even talking about? Sexy gay man, Barack. Get with the program. Wait, run it back. I thought of something better. Sleepy Joe, you are officially a frog -a queer finger licker. Anyways, folks, it's about that time. The final comment question of this playthrough. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, to say the least, so thank you for participating up until now. This one is not directly Pokemon related, although it can be depending on your answer. Boys, viewers, I ask you all, what was your favorite moment throughout this entire series? The one thing that will stand out to you whenever you think back on these videos. It could be a quote, a gameplay section, a crazy luck moment, or anything in between. Wow, Barack, that's probably the best question we have ever asked. Hatterene's off to you. I already have a couple of answers floating around inside my massive brain, so if any of you are ready, take it away. Mine is the Winona fight from episode 17, AKA the Romantic Showdown. Our Poke Bars went blow for blow in that battle, Donnie. It was honestly pure Vulpix all the way through. Joe, you even gotten some nice punches, and your final pickup line to simultaneously win the battle was freaking sweet. I will always cherish that gym leader fight. It had everything. There was tension, comedy, and more emotion than the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. Damn. You know that GP was cooking when Barack chooses him over Generation 1 material? Meowskarata munchies. My favorite moment is when you caught Dog at the start of Episode 6, Joe. I know I made fun of you and made that degrading Facebook post about how stupid you were for bringing only three Pokeballs, but in the end, you only needed two. Securing our first Legendary for the run was a massive dub. Even though Dog has fallen off the map a little since then, we still wouldn't be here where we stand if it wasn't for his divine summoning. That's when I began to respect you as a trainer, buddy old pal. Thanks, Donnie. Knowing you've got my back means the world to me. Of course, Joe, you have my highest order of respect. Well, bar last episode, but hey, my transformation debut wasn't exactly a perfect fight either. I wonder what my on-go schlongo is going to evolve into. So Donald's dick is now a pussy? I knew it. Ha ha ha! Classic one, Sleepinator Giuseppe. Go ahead and answer the comment question, my good man. My favorite moment is when you said you'd love to put a Pharisee in you like a butt plug Barack. I couldn't stop thinking about it self-destructing inside your booty. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, very funny, Joe. That never happened, you silly swana. Are you sure you didn't say that, Joe? Sounds like your typical Thursday morning. Why would I lie about something like this? Roll the tape. So I walked up to her, double slapped that bitch in the face five times and said, grow the fuck up, you disrespectful nihilego. I then kicked her out of her own home, tiptoed upstairs and found her custom made ferro seed vibrator. After some long debate with my sexual inner demons, in the hole it went, guys. Oops, my B. LOL, good one, Barack. That was funny. Same here, Baki. I would love nothing more than for a lie noon to sweep my back door with a plus six belly drum then proceeds to insert his wiener at an extreme speed so I can feel it in my stomach. Oh yeah, I've been a naughty keto cheeto Lord Lai Noonie Woonie. Wait, what the hell? Where did he pull that fake memory from? I swear that never happened. I'm very creeped out. Joe, explain. Oh, would you look at that, guys? We made it to Evergrande City. Kind of weird that it's called a city when it's literally just two Pokemon centers in the final dungeon, am I right? I ain't letting that one slide. You creepy Mareep tipper. What's next? Gonna manipulate our memories to fool us into thinking you're our biological brother. Donald trump -aroo, stand down for my besto friend -o. My brother. There's a skin color joke there, but that's beneath me. Just like your entire race, Barack. 
Anyways, get to your victory road encounter already, will you? This is our last Pokemon capture of the entire run. Thank the satanic Vivalon. We didn't end on a water type. Am I the only one concerned that he is level 48? 10 levels higher than our lead monster right here? Holy sheet! Well, I'm not worried, and I'm the one playing, so lower your chunky BPM, Donald. I'm kind of sad we didn't end on a water type Pokemon. That would have made the final encounter feel complete, you know? You know, last Tuesday I was daydreaming about Lorantis feet as I usually do, when I realized why exactly I hate water types so much. I was actually meant to be a voice actor for a character in the anime who predominantly uses that type. Specifically, it was for one of the YouTube series. I got the part and everything, but things just got complicated, so it didn't end up happening. That's super cool, Joe. Who are you meant to play? I was supposed to voice Nessa in Pokemon Twilight Wings. Oh, sweet dreadnought dick. Let me guess. The almighty, crabominably white supremacist Joe didn't want to play someone black. No, Barack, you have a lug ass writer. It was because I found out she's a girl. I went into the audition blind thinking Nessa was a boy's name. Don't get me wrong, being black didn't help but I ain't voicing a character who doesn't have man juice running through their body. Gross! And so, you hold this personal vendetta against the most common type in the entire series? That, and I have a fear of drowning. I never unlocked the swimming skill in all of my years of leveling up my skill tree. Joe talking pure Kabuto shit as usual. Can we focus on this capture? What do you want me to name this guy? Cunt or something? Nah, I've moved on to Tapu Bulu dick now. I'm over the Taurus craze. Well, in that case, shout out to Gigachad Ashimus Maximus Ketchumus for catching 30 of these wild beasts without breaking a sweat. I shall channel all 30 of them with this one mighty bull boy. Serious question, guys. What do you think all of those Tauruses do at Professor Oak's lab or wherever they're stored? Do you think they all do each other? This ain't even a me being weirdo type of shit. I'm just genuinely asking. Here's another head scratcher. Do bulls know what being gay is? And what's their opinion on it? I'm all for it, don't get me wrong, but it's just a thought. Barack, have you ever witnessed two bulls fucking on your farm? And so our final cavern truly begins. Before we get too deep into this place, boys, I had an idea for the last episode, if any of you were willing to lend an ear. Sure thing, Barack, but I'll need them both back by tomorrow. What is it? I was thinking, what if the three of us met up in real life to play this game together for the final episode? Three homies chilling in a room, huddled over a kawaii pink Game Boy, fully clothed and having a good time. Thoughts? I was with you until I heard fully clothed. Quick question. Where do the ninja boys factor into all of this? If there isn't at least a party of six of those devious little scallywags applauding my arrival, then I don't want to be in the finale. Uh, the finale of what, by the way? The finale of this Sapphire series, Joe. You are seriously slower than a sandy gas today on God! Plus, there won't be anyone applauding your entrance, as I was thinking of letting you host the event in the White House. It's a place of mutual significance to all three of us, so what other setting could be more fitting? It's just double-checking. So that's a no to the farmhouse where Barack shuckles his corn. Last chance. Going once, going twice. Not like it matters, Donald. The FBI still can't locate Barack's exact whereabouts. They've been searching cotton farms for months and jumping junkies on the daily. We've ceased millions of dollars worth of coke and unregistered firearms, all for naught. We still don't know where this Sneasler lives, so I guess the White House will do. Shit, won't we have to regain custody from Winona? That bitch ain't as fly as she seems. No worries there, Donald. I have my ways. How far are you planning to get through Victory Road Barack? You aiming to do the whole thing? By God, no Joe, not a chance. Demolishing Wallace with Sukuna's cursed energy has drained me. I feel drier than a heliolisk. I just want to gauge how strong these trainers are here. Then the final episode can consist of the three of us collectively clawing through this dungeon, the Elite Four, and finally the champion. We can even premiere it live. You boys seal what I'm saying? I get you, Barack. Not only that, but we need an intensive training time skip to get our Mons into shape for this end game. With the mixed type trainers and fierce level gap between our party and wild Pokemon, we are in no position to comfortably take on even Victory Road right now. But Joe is kind of cooking right now. Between him and Osama, I'd say we could sweep the league. This is coming from the guy who whited out last time. Yeah, I think I'll pass on your advice this time, Mr. President. I really don't want to get cheesed by some sort of mean look, perish, trapping bullshit, so I'm switching out just to be extra, extra safe. 
Fine. Don't listen to me. I was going to tell you how phallus is your best switch in for this meat flap right now, but do what you want, I guess. Okay, no, you're right. Let me listen to you for the umpteenth time this series and show you exactly what I mean. Now, phallus is going to die. I hope no one liked her. I obviously love Dick, but... Joe, what the hell? Switching in a rock type to a submission. You mad, son? Stay in your lane ting, yeah? See what I mean, Donald? Stay in and use karate chop Obama. I bet you won't, you pussy. Well, this wiener is not about to shaft this pussy tonight. No homo. Obviously, that's no homo. That's literally straight. Oh, please, no. Let our dicks live, you furry munch. See? Anyone else would have died there to the Darude sandstorm damage, but Phallus has just been chilling. Go ahead, boys. Use lick on your master's feet now. Really? All that to prove that shitty little point? Why didn't you instead predict the switch into Donald's dick to nullify the incoming ghost type move, huh? Well, as previously established, you are a ghost type rock, so I guess you have that ghostly sense or some freaky spidey shit. Loved you in Spider-Man 2 by the way you galvantula swinging turd. Donald, do you hear a shitty little spied ops talking right now? Gonna ignore and force this trainer to use his item after bringing your dick down to 18 HP. To be fair, using submission against my dick has proved super effective before. I understand where this guy is coming from, but holy how holy city is goaded Barack back. This isn't some one trick pony to that's going to get Osama killed or something by the end of the battle, is it? He's a choke artist at the end of the day, Donald. We will never forget the time he smoked that seawattle sized spliffy, which got him addicted to drugs. Man was DMing the viewers to buy his Barack baby broccoli. That makes you more of a scumbag than that guy Damien who left his Charmander out in the rain to die. You take that back, you Delia motherfucker. It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Well, at least I didn't kill the whole squad in the final fucking gym battle. What a pathetic loser. I didn't want to call you out over it, but this Nuzlocke is technically a loss for me on a personal note because you played like utter grottle shit. Dear Joe, thanks for the support, asshole. Shut up, you shiny manectric bitch. Guys, please stop fighting. This is why I brought up that ruling in episode nine, to continue the run and avoid this conflict among teammates. Look at what you're doing. The more you two bicker, the more endangered Osama is, which in this case is a very bad thing. Wait, Donald, are you for realsies right now? For Frostmoth freaking realsies, Joe. Are you telling me? You used your advanced future sight to predict Joe would get unlucky to confusion hacks and enemy held items to the point he would white out? And so, to cherish our times together, you suggested continuing the run after a wipeout. Hearing you say it makes me sound gay, but if that's the case, I want to continue playing with both of your pocket monsters while riding on Phallus's neck, homo. Mic drop. Wow, Donald. The student really has become the master now. You've come a long way since those earlier episodes, and this is not an outcome even I could have predicted. Joe, my good friend, I'm sorry I got so salty and dissed you the way I did. I know we will need complete synergy next episode to take down the toughest trainers in the entire game, so I do truly apologize. It's all G, Barack. I got carried away myself, and I know next time we will all cook up some pure fue cocoa and finally complete this adventure. Thanks, Donald, for everything. No problem, guys. I love you all too much, I guess. I guess next episode is the end of it all. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch when the finale drops. GP is going to pour his heart out into this one, so I ask you to wait a little longer than usual while he constructs the final banger episode of this series. Thank you all as always, and see you for the finale next time.